I'm back at uh, Los Bluffs. We woke at 3 a.m. to arrive up north just before daybreak. And while the clouds hid the sun, the windswept rain hid us from the teeming wildlife that filled every particle of land and sky. Every one of the night's lingering shadows seemed to sprout another thousand ducks to fill our ears with wetland symphony. And every passing bird of prey on our initial rain-soaked drive through the reserve would raise another cloud of waterfowl for us to watch settle again moments later in mere yards away. A never-ending torrent of life, not a world away on some unreachable island, not an African flooded savanna, but right here in the heartland at my fingertips. Fingertips itching to close a shutter and capture a moment. Fingertips foiled by rain-coated lenses and a sunrise that seemed to never come. Waiting for light, I focused on video and searched the small pools of water closest to the road for stragglers and idlers, hoping to see something new or something rare among the reeds. So far, only the usual suspects were out and about, but at least under the heavy veil of rain, they were slower to flee from the camera. Or maybe I'm just getting faster. As the rain began to soften, I turned off the main loop road to try my luck down lesser traveled gravel following a line of swans to the day's best discovery. The same two sandhill cranes from a month earlier. I guess these two want to see the snow before they fly from it. Not only is this the closest and levelest I've been to cranes, it was as if they knew it. And so they danced for me. That iconic jump and kick for no apparent reason, just once and while the camera was rolling. At Los Bluffs National Wildlife Reserve, the back half of the 11 mile auto loop transitions from open wetland to enclosed woods. And while so many people speed up to get back around to the area's main attraction, we slow down and peer through the trees. On this trip, that is where we spotted this sinister looking 10 pointer who was leading his lady deeper into the wood. Holding his tail high, a beacon for her to follow, when she was done cowering low as we passed. At the thicket's edge, he stops and wags the beacon at her before he disappears. At the other end of the wood in the antler spectrum is this Midwestern unicorn, a teenage buck who likely lost his left antler learning he was too big for his britches. Autumn's last leaves fall like the final sands of the season's glass. Without a date for the rut ball, he patrols the tall grass as we head off to lunch. What a morning so far. So the rain finally let up. We got great video of sandhill cranes and a beautiful 10 point buck. The air filled with ducks and snow geese. And then there's just, <laughs> there's probably a million waterfowl out here right now. It's just been incredible. So we've seen some Northern Harriers and some bald eagles. Oh goodness. There's a red tailed hawk right here at the bathroom. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna get out and try to get a picture of that guy. Uh, just having an absolute blast. Back at it after a great launch at Senor Barragas in nearby Mound City, Missouri, we briefly visit the Sandhill Cranes again. And while we lost quite a few yards, we gained a beautiful backdrop. Kim spotted a coyote loping away off in the distance, and while it was the only one we saw this day, it kept our streak alive. Never have we come to Los Bluffs and missed out on one. And then I get captivated by a young heron who caught 20 crayfish for me in as many minutes. So much fun to freeze the moment the meal is in the air, perfectly between the bird's bills and its eyes are comically locked on target. It reminds me of my dogs at home catching popcorn on movie night. To our surprise, our next pass found the two loafers even closer to the roadway. And here, I will tell you about the biggest photography mistake I've made to date. I got home and set to backing up the 4K video, and after it copied to a hard drive, I went to delete the space on the camera's card. Somehow, the computer had undone the filter to MP4 files only, and when I clicked delete, I wiped the card not just of 100 gig of video, but also another 65 gig of photos. 2,500 photos gone. I lamented on Facebook and received advice from other photographers, and with the purchase of recovery software, I was able to recover all. Thanks to disk drill software, disaster averted. A permanent resident here, this female bald eagle is calling out to her mate. Like a caped superhero, she leaps from her perch. Her target this time is not a meal, it's a large branch to add to her nest. 
Eagles mature at five to six years old and can live to be 30 in the wild, all while adding to their nests every year. So once an eagle has its pure white head, you can guess at its age by the depth of its nest. Her mate is spending his sunset atop a muskrat hut looking for an unattentive duck. As the sun begins to go, an adult heron readies to fly, and the landscape is peppered with blackbirds heading for the tree line. The deer coming back out into the open. The does first, probably their best chance for unpestered grazing. Here seven attend the grass on a levee under the flocks of birds they are trading shifts with. The final day's rays silhouette greater white-fronted geese, Canada geese, and tundra swans, three species that stay on the open water all night. The sun finally dips below the horizon and sets the world ablaze as what feels like every bird in the world hits the skies. Thank you for watching. I hope you'll comment below and let me know what you thought of my November 5th at Los Bluffs. You can help my channel grow and improve by dropping a like, subscribing, or even sharing this video. Thank you again, and good night.